Hey guys, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. I have the turtle out today that we're going to do. And I'm going to fill him with a few things, a couple things. I'm going to use some of this uh, chameleon powder, which is called Golden. Because I thought it would go well with these abalone shells that I'm going to fill his back with. And then I'm going to put sand in his flippers. And I'm going to paint this um, in his back, in his tail, and in his head. Just because I didn't want his head filled with shells and I didn't want his head filled with sand. So I'm going to just go ahead and put some, some chameleon powders in here. So I'm going to mix, this whole thing holds seven ounces. I measure mine with water and I measure it in the cup that I'm going to use. That way I know you know exactly on this what it's going to be so this part here i'm going to do today with the shells and that holds four ounces and then when i fill the rest of it it will hold another three ounces so today i'm going to mix up four ounces which i won't need all of it because i am putting a lot of shell in there but i'll just make something extra with it i'd rather have more than less okay i'm only going to paint this little i guess star whatever that is i wish it wasn't on here because now it's on here for every single turtle that i do so you're going to see it anyway so i'm just going to get some mica powder in here i will wipe the outside with alcohol or a baby wipe or something because you're clearly not going to keep it in the lines it is just impossible to do so let's just get this in here and then I'm going to get it in the head and also on the tail. And then I do like tap it out, which huh, didn't work today. All right. And then I'm going to have more cleaning. It's going to take me more time to clean the extra than it actually took to put it on here. which oh well and then i think when this is done i'll just paint the eyes black so you can differentiate the eyes from the rest of the head i wish this powder didn't like poof everywhere just harder to clean up so this will be clear resin going over this powder. Um, I don't like using black. I don't, I don't like how it dulls it down. The only time I use black is when I'm making the coasters. Um, what do you call them? Maybe like I could show you one what I'm talking about. Like these dragon scales. That's what I use the black on for some reason. Well, probably because you go over it with clear. I'm not going over this with clear and when you don't do that it really dulls the colors down um so that's why i'm not using black okay let me clean this out and i will come right back i've got my four ounces mixed up there are a ton of bubbles in here today so i'm hoping they come out I'm going to dump my shell into the resin to avoid extra bubbles. And I know they're going to fall to the bottom, but the reason I'm going to fill it up is because I don't want them dropping down below this line. So I kind of want this whole entire thing filled with shell. And I can see I'm going to need more because there's, there's still resin. So if I have extra, I'll just make something out of it. Plus it gets them nice and coated. If you fill your turtle first with the rock before you put the resin in, you're going to just have to add more. That's just the way it works. try to get the rocks out without the extra 
because I already have a lot of extra in here. I'm trying to avoid it going into the feet because I want sand in there tomorrow. Just trying to get out some of this clear so I could fill it with rock instead. This might take a while. <laughs> I don't have a little spoon for resin. I just recommend fast forwarding. I think what I'll do is just add rock, which I said I wouldn't do, but being it's the bottom, it shouldn't make a difference. I just want to, I know it's not going to soak up the resin, but I want to fill up the resin without adding more. To keep it out of his head. Keep it out of his feet. I have the shell in blue as well. I wasn't sure which one to use, but I thought this would be a little more neutral for now. See how it looks before I do the blue one. It sure holds a lot. <laughs> if you're new to my videos, I do sell my demos to the first person who wants them. I sell them at cost. I don't ask for any kind of profit. I just have so many things hanging around. I don't have room for everything. So if you want this for a gift or for yourself email me in the email in the description and um, give me your address and i'll get you a shipping cost the pieces themselves are usually not very expensive just the cost of whatever's in the the mold it's the shipping charges okay i don't think i could fit anything else in there now it did go into the head, which I want, and I'll finish the head with the sand tomorrow. It did not go in the tail, but that's okay. Spray it with alcohol. And just try to get these as flat. I mean, it's gonna, I'm gonna go over it with three more ounces of resin tomorrow, so. All right, you guys. I will be right back. It's only been a couple of hours. I was hoping I wasn't going to have to wait until tomorrow. It is soft. It's not even near cured, but I think it is good enough to go ahead and mix up the sand mixture and pour it on. So I have mixed up about two ounces because the sand is going to take up another ounce and it's got a three ounce left. So I'm just going to pour a whole bunch of sand in here and get it mixed up, laid on top so we can unmold this thing tomorrow. We won't have to wait two days to do this one project.
I also used all that extra resin and shells and I made a bunch of stuff to unmold tomorrow. So we will do that as well. What I'm trying to do is just mix it so I don't have a clear layer. I want a nice thick layer of sand. See how there's like a layer on the top? There's not a whole lot left. I'm just trying to get an get it to be all sandy. Guess you can figure out what I'm trying to say. So let's hope this doesn't sink down. I don't think it will. I did push some clear up into the tail because I really wanted the tail to not have sand first. It'll probably go over. It's going to go over the head as well. But I wanted the clear resin to show through. So I'm just going to start pouring this in here. And if I have extra resin, we'll pour it in my extra molds. I'm excited to see what this looks like. I'm curious to see what's going to happen with the head. If it's actually going to drop down or not. Okay, that's definitely enough. I don't know how this tail, this tail is so thin on the end. I have no idea if it's going to come out in one piece. Uh, my alcohol spray. And I think, um, yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, it's definitely good. It's domed on the top. Well, in some areas, some areas it's not. Right here it was not. So if you can get the resin to come up over the edge just slightly without breaking the tension, you'll have a lot less trimming to do. And I think the rest is domed. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my extra molds that I did. And I'll surprise you tomorrow. Check out the description for my link and how I clean this cup in like less than a minute. They are ready. Except I have some extras to unmold. So I'm, oh, this one has a lot of trimming. What the heck? I have these that I'll make into magnets. I didn't do a very good job. So I put the shells in them. See, oh, look at the sunlight coming in. Cute. That one. Cute. I'll put magnets on the back and give these away. Another one. And then these weren't filled up the whole way, so I put it sand on the bottom of them. I have some some trimming to do. That looks kind of cool with the sandy bottom. And this one. A little soft because it was last night and probably only been eight hours. Okay, and then I also had enough left to try out this holographic mold with these. These will need a back coat, and they're still soft. But let's see how the holographic... Oh, it looks cool. I guess you can use a holographic mold on basically anything. I mean, it shows up better on dark colors. Um, I will back coat this. Maybe I'll back coat it in black. We'll see. I have two of those... I wonder if you'll see it better with a black background. Let me grab my phone case. Yeah, I think I'll back these in black when I have some extra resin. 
And then this one I had sand, so I'm like, oh, let's try it. Yep, same thing. That looks cool. I love it. These take a lot longer to cure because they're so thin. So those will be sitting there for a couple of days. All right, I've not demolded this one yet, and it is soft. Like I said, it's only been about eight hours. But I couldn't wait any longer. Oh, the tail came out okay. Let's see. Come on. I don't want to ruin him. Okay. Ready? Here's the bottom. Oh, that came out good. See the little head? It's gold and shades of red. Sunlight happens to be right there for me. His little flippers. You can see the star, but I'm kind of happy you... There's the other two. Kind of happy you can't see it that well. Um... I don't want stars on every single turtle I do. His little tail. I think I will do his eyes in black, maybe. Got my little black marker that I use to mark my cups. Let's see how this looks. Not bad. What do you think, guys? Is he cute? I will get you some end pictures as soon as the sun is in the right place. And I want to take the time to say thank you again for everybody who is watching and sticking in there for these videos. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for your kind words and your comments. And you guys all have a blessed day.